You just moved up to Joburg from Port Elizabeth, uh, quite an adjustment in terms of your personal life, but I imagine um, it's, uh, for your business it's, it's a different story. Yeah, uh, I, I can only say that it's really the right thing uh, from iQuad's perspective. There's really a lot more opportunities here and uh, we're looking forward to being able to capture some of those. And how, how much in terms of numbers are you hoping um, that your Gauteng operations will contribute to uh, the group's uh, revenue? Well, currently our, our revenue splits uh, quite equally, 25% uh, across the main centres. So uh, we're doing 25% in Port Elizabeth, 25 in Cape Town, 25 in KZ, and 25 up here. So if you look at the GDP uh, split across the country, 25% uh, in Joburg is just not good enough. And uh, we're looking to push that up to about 50%, 60%. So in that lies quite a nice organic growth story for Aquad. And what about acquisitions? Um, we're not intent on acquisitions at the moment. We are looking at a couple of opportunities. Uh, we like the business sustainability space and uh, we're also looking at some competitor acquisitions. But for now it's been about uh, consolidating and focusing on our organic growth opportunities. And of course in terms of that uh, consolidating and restructuring some of your business on the back of uh, a drop in eight, of 8% eight in your HIPS uh, in your full year results, um, just talk us through how uh, the last six months um, have been uh, for your company. Well, um, you know, we're seeing the, uh, the economy still quite tough. There are um, opportunities. We're seeing uh, a lot more development taking place on the incentive side where we deal with new businesses or expansions and there seems to be more keenness in the market now for people to invest again. So that's very positive for us. In terms of um, just uh, your business development unit, as you mentioned, um, you have disposed some units um, and you've got a pending sale of the national money transfer business. Um, has that uh, taken place now or is it still pending? No, we were quite fortunate there in a way because uh, we were looking to exit the business because we uh, didn't see it as, as, as core to our operations. It's something we inherited over time. But uh, we've got some exciting developments in the pipeline there with uh, some software development we're doing with uh, one of the major banks. And uh, we've decided that for now, exiting is not the right option. And uh, looking at uh, your incentives um, in terms of government's new industrial action policy plan too, how is that going to impact that business? Well, I think um, it gives us more variety. Uh, you know, the, in terms of the IPAP and the industry segments they're targeting, there's more industry, industry segments that government's looking at. And uh, there's also a couple of new incentive developments, which means that there's more variety for us to offer our clients. In your, in your global trade business, uh, you obviously manage uh, foreign exchange risk for exporters and importers. Um, I imagine the strong rand is a bit of a problem for you or for your clients. Well, well it is as far as our clients that are exporters go. Uh, the importers are enjoying it at the moment, but uh, uh, we're hoping that the, the rand is going to find a nice balance and uh, some of our exporters are hoping for the rand to weaken quite a bit. What would you say is your biggest challenge? Um, our biggest challenge in our business? Yeah. Um, I think it's uh, managing the, the people and uh, matching those to our systems. I think we, we deal in an environment where there's a lot of, uh, a lot of risk in our business in the, in, the, in, the, um, in the service offering that we offer our clients and uh, if things had to go wrong it could have a, a negative impact on us. So we're really about trying to manage that risk and uh, get the best of our people and our systems. And uh, just looking at obviously your, your Gauteng, you say it was a good move uh, moving up here. Are you looking at expanding further into the region at all? Um, we, we are looking at, at, at Pretoria as well. We've uh, tended to locate our offices and our operations more uh, in Johannesburg. So we are looking at getting more exposure into Pretoria as well. Um, just, uh, s just your general sort of outlook, um, we've had some uh, better than expected uh, manufacturing data come out um, but at the same time there's still a lot of concerns around growth in the US. Um, when do you think um, things are going to pick up? I think um, uh, not, not this year, I think uh, early part of next year uh, hopefully we'll start to see a pickup and some improved confidence. And uh, let's just talk a little bit uh, about your share price um, and where it is right now and where you hope um, it will go mm. to. Well, currently our share price is trading around three rand. One of the challenges we have being an Altex listed company is liquidity. Mm -hmm. uh, we're um, working at the liquidity, but I think the best way to focus on your share price is to focus on your results and delivering sustainable earnings, and that's really what we're about. Uh, we're also quite a strong dividend pay, uh, payer uh, with uh, dividend payments between 40 and 60% of headline earnings.